How to create a login page in Google Sites. Password protect your Google pages. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can create a members only area in your Google Sites. However, I do want to let you guys know that Google Sites is not considered a proper website building platform. It's more so shared as a drive sharing platform. So there is no direct way that you can restrict a page or password protect a page on Google Sites. However, there are some workarounds where you can create some members only areas and I'll show you guys how you can do that. But keep in mind if the URL of your members only area is shared with other users, other users might also be able to access it. But let's get into building our members only area. The first thing you want to do is click on your Google Sites and you can open up your site. Our site is called Paris Travel Diary and once we do that we want to click on pages over here and click on this new section and you can even build different sections you can also fully embed a page over here like so like this and then you can add your embedded code over here and for that you can just directly embed chat gpt's code so you can ask chat gpt to create a code for you this is one way to build your Google Sites members area. However, this is really difficult to navigate through and the content can be a bit difficult to add to that site as well. The next way is to simply build a simple page called members area. Now, after you do that, you can click on a sub page. So you can click on add sub page and you can add login within your members area login. And then after you add your pages, you're going to go on to auth pro.com so what authpro.com allows you to do is you can create a members only area on your website now for this you're going to click on sign up now and then you want to continue with your free account you can enter your basic information i already have created an account so i'm just going to log in and you just need to provide your basic info but if you're having issues let's say i'm going to sign up again but I can click on over here. Let's add our username, password, and basic info like this. And then we're going to add our email address. And then you're going to add the title of your website. And then you're going to add your website URL, which I'm going to add as well. So I'm just going to open up our published site. And then we're going to copy our URL and paste it over here. Now, once you paste your website URL, you're going to choose your language. And then you're going to click on create account. So once I've done that, I'm going to click on proceed to set up wizard. And we're going to set up wizard to get started with building our area. So I want members to register for free and access my members area. I want members to register for free and then verify their email address. I want to manually verify members before they can access. And then I will issue login slash password for members manually. No self registration is allowed. Now, this is probably the best way to keep your site secure, but you might lose a lot of customers and a lot of visitors if you do this. So usually it's best to keep it at the first default option or maybe the second one. Now, I'm going to keep it at the first option just so it's easier. And then we're going to click on next. After you do that, you're going to add your profile form. So name, email, login, password, verify password. Now, there are multiple different fields. Let's say I don't require a username. So I can choose to turn this off as well. And I can just click on non-required over here and turn that on. So after that, you can click on new field and you can also create your own form fields on how you want people to be able to create their accounts. Once you've verified this form, click on next over here. And once you do that, you're going to add your members area URL. So we're going to open up our page that we just created. And this is going to be the login page that I'm going to be using. So just to publish this, I'm going to publish this new version. And then I'm going to open up the URL of that version. So I can just take it directly from here. So I'm just going to copy our little URL. So click on view publish site, members area, login. And then I'm going to copy the URL and paste it over here. Once I paste it over here, I can add a failed URL login, then a protected page authorization. So members will be sent here if they try to access this page without logging in. Then you have the logout URL. All of these are optional. Then you have your hide URL cloaking. I want to display my own website address for the members area, or I want to hide my members area URL. 
So you can choose to hide this as well. After that, click on next over here, and then you can add some members to your account. So I'll add myself over here just to show you guys. And then I'm going to click on next over here. And just like that, we are almost finished now. After this, you have to add your login form so it can be displayed. Now you need to update your website to work with your password protection. Now, first off, you have to add your login form. This is the login form that you have. Simply click on copy over here and go into your login page. And then in your login page, click on insert, click on embed and embed URL like this. Click on insert over here and that page will be inserted. I'm just going to change the header to title only just so it's easier to view. And I'm going to publish as I go. And now after that, you have to add your registration form. The rest of these things are optional. You can also protect your members area pages. That is recommended. So this is a simple little code that you can embed. I do recommend doing this to make your website a bit more exclusive. Simply click on embed in your members area page. So go into pages, go into members area, and then in your members area, click on insert, click on embed, click on embed code and click on paste over here. Then click on next over here and click on insert. So after you have added your login section over here and you've added your code, you can click on publish over here, click on publish once more, and now your members area content will remain safe. So after that, your account and website are configured. And after this, you're going to click on proceed to account manager. And just like that, our registration and login forms have been created. Now let's take a look at our new published site so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to make sure everything is published there are no more changes now i can open up the published site over here now one thing to keep in mind is that i recommend that you actually hide your user area or you know your members area from your navigation and send an email for that particular page that is something that i recommend that you guys do however it is not necessary from here, let's just add our login, click on enter. I think I created the wrong one, but I can click on here to register and click on submit over here. Once I've done this, I can click on login here and we're just going to log in like so and click on enter over here and our site will connect currently because i have not built any pages further than on my login page there's really nowhere for the members to head over it's just the members page and that's it but i do recommend that whenever you're building these kinds of pages just take the login page and do a right click and click on hide from navigation or you know at least hide the pages present within don't show the pages present within your login page to be able to be shown on the navigation panel because auth pro is only a directory which can create like a secretive link however they really can't protect your website from unsubscribed members to access so keep that in mind whenever you are looking to protect your google sites website with a members only area or you know a exclusive area i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe